Here's a concept for you, purpose, but more importantly, your purpose. I hear it all the time. Cindy, what is my purpose? Cindy, can you help me find my purpose? Cindy, I know I'm supposed to be doing something, but what is that? If this sounds like you and you want to know your purpose, then watch this video as I address concepts to create your reality. Hello, beautiful one. I'm Cindy, psychic medium, spiritual advisor. I have an understanding and experience that science, spirit, and metaphysics can actually come together to complement one another and work in harmony for a better, more rounded understanding. But for you to do this, you're going to have to step into your higher self. So while you're watching this video, I'd like to ask that you keep an open mind and heart as I help answer these age old questions. Why are we here? What is our purpose? You know, one of my favorite things about being a medium is I have the honor and privilege of working with spirit. So when I asked spirit the question about purpose, this is what they gave me. They said, your purpose is to create an experience from your perception in the physical. That was the statement they gave me. And I said, what? You mean it's that simple? And they said, absolutely. But remember, simple is not easy. Easy is a whole other subject. So basically what they were impressing upon me was saying it is one thing, but helping you understand is yet another. For most people, science is their belief, their only belief. So we will discuss it first, but for others, they know science is just one piece of the puzzle we call life. So let's start with the closest concept I could find about the statement they gave me. For this, we're going to talk about an experiment and a theory. The experiment I'm talking about is the double slit experiment. You may know it, but do you really understand it? In this experiment, scientists took particles, we'll call them marbles, and sent them through a single slit to hit the wall. Of course, it formed a single pattern when hitting the wall. Next, they sent marbles through a double slit to see what would happen. And of course, it made a double pattern. Then they sent water through a single slit. It too left a single pattern. Next was the water through a double slit. But when they sent water through a double slit, it left a different pattern than when sending the marbles through the double slit. It left several patterns on the wall. This is because water behaves like waves, and when waves meet, they cancel each other out, forming a different pattern than the marbles. Next, they decided to go quantum, so they sent electron, which is tiny matter, through the same process. Single slip, which gave the same single pattern as did the marbles, matter, then the double slip, expecting it would make a double pattern, like it did when the marbles were sent. Aha! Instead, it made a pattern when sending water through the double slip. What? I know. What this told us is electrons, tiny matter, leave as matter, collapse into waves where it interferes with itself and hits the wall like waves. Mathematically, it was even better. It determined it goes through both slits. It goes through neither slits, it goes through just one slit, and then it goes through just another. Which tells us we have all these possibilities. So next, they decided to observe, just to see which slit it went through. When they did this, they found the electron went back to just behaving like matter, forming the pattern it did when sending the barbels through a double slit. The electron decided to act different as though it was aware of being observed. What this told us is the observer collapsed the wave function simply by observing. What's even better is since the first time they did this experiment, each repeated experiment using the same steps has yielded different results. The experiment itself told us many things. It told us there are all these possibilities or ways particles can behave. 
it also told us particles can act as matter and waves. But this is the part that applies to your purpose. About your purpose, this experiment told us introducing consciousness, or what they call the observer, changes the behavior in particles. Because it is not until consciousness, or observation, is introduced that the particles behave differently. In my opinion, this shows us that without consciousness, or observation, Particles would just be everywhere and nowhere like static, unfocused energy. Consciousness focuses particles and gives us matter, which leads me to believe what Spirit said. We are here to create, which is intention, and experience, which is particles or waves changing their behavior into matter, from our perception, which is observation, in the physical, which is focused energy. Summation, your purpose understand good yay next is the scientific theory yes i said theory because by now you should understand that most of science is just theory that we have somehow made fact we'll go over how that has happened in another video this theory comes from robert lanza's biocentrism the new theory of everything have you ever heard of biocentrism let me know in the comments below if you've never heard of biocentrism, it describes reality as a process that fundamentally involves our consciousness. Robert Lanza's theory explains how without consciousness, all matter dwells in an undetermined state of probability. So time has no real existence and space is just a concept we use to make sense of things in our mind. To get a better grasp on this concept, I'll add what Niels Bohr said. He said, when we are measuring or forming something, we are forcing an undetermined, undefined world to assume an experimental value, in which case we are not measuring the world, we are actually creating it. So from my perspective, both these scientists understand reality is a process that involves consciousness. So you ask, what does this have to do with my purpose? And I say to you, if what Robert Lanza and Niels Bohr say is true, and we expand our vocabulary to other words for consciousness, say like awareness or perception, then using any one of these names should lead you to conclude the major factor in creating this earth, universe, reality, is consciousness, which is you. You are here to create an experience from your perception in the physical, which is what spirit answered. I bet you're saying, well, okay, I understand, but I have more questions. Don't worry, I got you. So I asked them, well, why would we do that? And their answer, to grow your consciousness, awareness, or said in another way, to grow your soul, or in a scientific way, to expand your energy. Everyone knows energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's ever transforming, changing, expanding. So think of it this way. If we are energy, as energetic beings, we can't experience holding hands with someone, or tasting candy, or having sex with another soul, touching their body, smelling their hair, or seeing their adoration for you, or what it's like to hug someone that you have missed and haven't seen in so long. Think of the first time you romantically kissed someone and showed them affection, or have you ever worked so hard for something? Something that you saw in your head and knew you wanted to create. Something you just knew you wanted to bring from your vision to reality. So you were driven and came up with such ingenuity until what you saw in your head was standing before your eyes to experience. The sense of accomplishment. The sense of sharing this with others. This is why you are here. This is your purpose. I know what you're thinking. Well, if it's that simple, then why do I feel like I'm missing something? And the answer is because you are. If you are feeling like something is missing, then it is. So what is that for you? It's the reason you feel angry, dissatisfied, anxious, happy, pain, ambition, drive, passion, and so forth. These are all indicators for your purpose. Beautiful one, it's time to remember you are the I am, which means I am what I perceive. 
and to accomplish perception in the physical, I think, I create, I feel, and I experience, which is what Spirit said is your purpose. It is that simple. But the true question you should be asking is, if I know my purpose is to create and experience from my perception in the physical, then what is it that I want to experience in the physical? I'll leave you with that thought. Until next time, beautiful one, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe as we delve into Concepts Create Reality.